makes the world go round and has for many years. Peggy! Oh, wait a second. Bill Janos. Bill Janos. I had it perfect earlier. I'm so sorry, Peggy. No, no problem. It's all good. So, uh, yeah, what inspires me? So when I'm walking along Westcliff and I see a monarch butterfly that I, you know, I saw one today, and I think that butterfly is going to northern Canada. Mm. And is it like a big thing that's moving really fast? No. It's, I'm going faster than the butterfly. I'm not going to Canada, right? So when I thought, okay, a titan, you know, thinking about doing things and getting things done, you don't have to be a huge thing. You don't have to be monstrous. You don't have to be pushing everybody else out of the way. You just have to have something in mind that you want to happen, and you have to make it happen. That butterfly is going to get all the way to Canada, even though it's just going like this, going back and forth. And it doesn't look like much of anything, you know. So anyway, on to what we've, you know, what we've done in Santa Cruz and what we've done. So I'm with Cruzeo Internet. We're an internet company. We were one of the first internet service providers in the world. So yeah, and Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz, that's, you know, that's part of it. Santa Cruz is a really creative place and a lot of ideas come up here and there's a lot of possibilities here because people here accept things that are different. That are different. So we were very lucky to start here. And we ha definitely had a vision that we were gonna make everybody able to communicate with each other in the, in the world and that we would be able to take information that people usually had like in silos all over the place. Remember this before the internet. And, and libraries, and we were gonna make everybody be able to, to get into all the libraries or see all the paintings or, you know, that we would all be sharing and it would be fantastic. So part of what I wanna talk about is what happens when it all goes wrong. And you have a really beautiful idea that you really thought was gonna work out great. And in a way, it has worked out really great. I mean, we all have the internet now, right? And it's almost like part of your brain, it's instantaneous. You don't even have to wonder like who starred in a sitcom that you remember from when you were a kid. You, you don't even have to wonder for a second. When you're at the dinner table and someone says, oh, who was that? You're like, why are you even asking? Just go look, you know? It just takes a second. So that's, the, that's a good part of it. I think all of us have like way bigger brains now, in, you know, functionally. And the, the communication is fantastic. My kids live on the East Coast. I can uh, Skype or FaceTime with them, and it's like they're right with me. You know, we're having dinner together practically. What's gone wrong for me is the misinformation now. It's like I'm watching this, this wonderful thing that took off like a plane, and is so much more successful than, than we could have wished. And it's, you know, it's given me a company that we've run for all these years and, and my livelihood and everything. And then you just watch it where people are getting misinformation. You know, we, we thought it would be so great if everybody contributes their own ideas, but we didn't realize that that would be empowering, empowering Nazis. I mean, you know, I, I feel responsible for it. So what do we do? Where do we take it from here? Well, first of all, I still believe in the human race. I still believe, especially in Santa Cruz, I think it's really important for us to get our message out. And Cruz Out takes that very seriously. I think that this community is very uh, environmentally minded. You hear the people talking about working together and love and how important that is. That's not all the tech people in the world. That's not all the business leaders in the world. Santa Cruz is very special and it's important for us to have the ability to get our message out. I think we're leaders in a lot of ways. We were some of the first in the internet, you know, and that's a big thing now. Well, let's continue to be thought leaders. Let's continue to spread that, our message. And Cruzo is behind it 100%, and we're trying to build a much better infrastructure so everybody has much faster internet. They can work from home. They can do what they need to do. And I think for all of us, it's just use the stuff that has unfortunately been kind of misused lately, in my opinion. Use it the right way. Let's keep going. Let's, I believe that it can work. I still believe that it can work. I don't think it's all been for naught, you know? 
I think it's. I think we're going to come through. Uh, I think we're going to come through, and we're going to do a lot of good. So uh, we'll be behind you. We are empowerers of tech companies, and also every company that there is. Uh, we find that uh, people miss their internet before they miss their electricity or their water even now sometimes. <laughs> so you can imagine in the recent storms what we've been going through uh, because you know we work with infrastructure, we're a utility company and when things go bad, people just panic. It's almost like their heartbeat. If you don't have your internet for an hour, it's, it's almost like your, your beating heart isn't working. So we've got to keep going with that because we need the best internet in the world here because we're the people who want to have it. That's what I think. <laughs>